Hey everybody, welcome to my channel and today's video is going to be my highlighter collection. So I'm finally getting to this video. I have this video and then my blush collection and then I have finished my collection videos. So like I said in previous videos, I do have some stuff in my new makeup drawers. I just, I don't want to bring them in now because I feel like they're not really in my collection. So once I bring them in, I will add them then but it's just too much to go through. So we're just gonna go through the ones that I've actually played with, touched, used, and loved. That's it. All right, so let's get started. So we'll start back here. Try to get some of this out. Let's see here. I do have the Anastasia Moonchild palette. And that is it right here. This was just in a project pan. I was painting the star one and the blue moon one, of course. I didn't hit pan, but I made some progress. The other, they were all like barely ever used. So I wanted to get some use out of this, which I did feel like I did, but I'm not really into these blue colors. I don't know. The star was okay. I just don't think these are something that looks good on my skin color. So I don't know if I will actually pan those ones again. The next one is the Anastasia Sun Dip Glow Kit. And that is it right there. And barely touched as well. A lot of my highlighters are like just grays to use. That's it. So anyways, I do like this one as well. This is not my favorite formula. I have come to find out that Anastasia is a little bit more glitter glittery than I like it. But I do have a few of their palettes. I do like them. Like as you can see, this one has like glitter all over it. But anyways, this one is a good palette as well. It's just not something that is my favorite. I will tell you guys what my favorite one is. And it is this one right here. I just got this one. And this baby is magic. I love this highlighter palette to death. This is the Violet Boss Pro Highlighter Rose Gold Palette. I don't know if they sell it anymore. I got it off Hot Look. But you guys, these are amazing highlighters. They are not glittery at all. And they look just gorgeous on your face. Like... Seriously, I didn't swatch all of them, but there's five of them. So I only have five fingers, but them are the swatches of them right there. They are just gorgeous, beautiful highlighters. I love this palette and I'm so glad that I picked it up. The next one, this one is actually a really good palette as well. I like this one a lot. This is the Urban Decay After Glow palette and that is it right there. This, these are very beautiful as well. Not glittery on the face and I love them. This one right here is the Naked Cosmetics. I think we got this in a boxy charm. Uh, I think I remembered liking this a little bit. Uh, as you can tell, I haven't really touched it, touched it much. Um, so I'm not really sure if I still enjoy the formula as much as I did when I first received it. But I know for a fact like these lighter colors I could use. It's just these colorful ones I'm not really too sure about. I just think I'm kind of over the colorful highlighter phase. That's just me personally. This one right here, this is the Wet n Wild Illuminating Palette. Honestly, I don't remember the last time I used this, but that is it right here. So I can't really tell you a review on this one or anything because I don't remember actually ever using that. Uh, this one right here, I do really like this one as well. This is the Vintage by Jessica Liebenskind. And this is the little palette here. As you can tell, I have pretty good dips in both of them. So I've definitely gotten probably the most highlighter use out of this palette in my collection. This one right here is in a project pan. This is the Becca Prosecco Pop. Yeah, Prosecco Pop. And that is the highlighter right there. It is a very beautiful highlighter. All right, so let's start with these ones over here. As you can tell, I have quite a few wet and wild ones. All right, so this one right here is the Physician's Formula Miami Strip. It's supposed to be a, it could be a blush, bronzer, or eyeshadow, but it's actually more like a highlighter for me. But that is it right there. All right, so this one right here, this is the Cargo Bronzer Highlighter, and that is it right there. I do really enjoy this one as well. This one is another one by Vintage by Jessica Liebenskind, and this one is in the color Rose Gold, and as you can tell, I have a pretty good dip in there as well. All right, so let's go with Wet n Wild. I have, how many? Six Wet n Wild highlighters. <laughs> All right, so the first one here is the Sweetest Bling, and that is it right here. It is a pretty pinkier one, but it's okay. This one is a purple one, not really my favorite, but this is Lilac to Reality. 
This one right here is the Golden Flower Child. This one is a pretty one. The only thing I find with Wet n Wild, I do really like their highlighters. They just don't last as long on my skin color or my skin for some reason. So this is the Crown of My Canopy. This one is a little bit darker. This one right here is Blossom Glow and I have gotten pretty good use out of it. I think I was trying to get the invention off this one in a project pan, which never ended up happening. And this one right here is probably the most well-known one. This is Precious Petals. All right, so this next one, this is from Ofra. This is the Beverly Hills highlighter. I love this highlighter. This is probably one of my favorite highlighters. And I've gotten pretty good use out of this one. This one was in a project pan at some point in time. I don't remember what the accomplishment was of it, but I do remember using this in a project pan for some reason. This one right here is the NYX Illuminator, and I think I remember really liking this. This is in the color Narcissistic, and that is the highlighter right there. You guys, I don't want to swatch all these because, you know, I only do have two hands, and this is going to be a lot of highlighters to go through, but if you guys want swatches or comparisons of anything that I show in this uh, video, just let me know and I will do a video. I'll bring them in to shop my stash or I don't know, but I will do it for you. But this next one is another Ofra one. This is the Rodeo Drive highlighter. This is a very, very gold, beautiful highlighter. I really do enjoy Ofra's formula. Very good highlighter if you guys want like a higher end uh, formula. This is the LA Girl 90 Watt highlighter. These ones are okay. I think I have two of these, yes. I want to say that this one was decent, but then the 100 watt had a lot more glitter in it, and that's the 100 watt right there. I probably wouldn't really recommend these. They are cheap, but I got them because of another YouTuber's recommendation, and I just find that they're not as great as some other ones, so that's just my opinion. Um, this one right here is from e.l.f., and this is the Shimmer Highlighting Powder. And that is it right there. I think I remember liking this one, you guys. I don't know, some of these I've used maybe once or twice and then haven't touched again, so I'm not gonna like totally lie to you and say, oh, I love all these highlighters when I don't even remember the last time I've used them. Now, these ones I do love. These are the Physician's Formula Butter Highlighters. I have the color Pearl and then the color Iridescent, and these are so soft and beautiful. I absolutely adore them. I, these, I know that these are kind of like either you love them or you hate them kind of product, but I absolutely adore them. And then this one right here is the iridescent color. As you can tell, I've gotten more use out of the pearl one, but I do love both of these. This one right here is a little e.l.f. highlighter. I think this was rose gold. It does not say on it, but I'm pretty sure this was the rose gold highlighter. I barely use that one too. This is the Laura Geller highlighter in the color French Vanilla. This is a really good highlighter. I do enjoy this one as well. It's a very like natural highlighter. It's beautiful. This one is probably one of my favorite highlighters. This is the Artist Couture Powder Highlighter in Illuminati. You guys, this is so beautiful. Like, I love this stuff so much. I'm going to swatch this for you just because I love it so much. But so that is the highlighter right there. If you guys can see, it is gorgeous. I absolutely love this highlighter to death. One of my favorite highlighters. Uh, this one right here, this is the Luna by Luna Calypso highlighter. This, I, I'm, I remember loving this highlighter. I haven't used it in a while, but I remember really loving this highlighter. This is the Kalito Cosmetic Skin Blush in the color Prom Queen. So I'm pretty sure I got this like in an Ipsy or something, but that is the highlighter right there. All right, this one right here is actually an eyeshadow, but I use it as a highlighter. This is the Maybelline, what is it, the Glow Down? Yeah, the Glow Down eyeshadow. Everybody uses this as a highlighter or did at some point in time back in the day, but that is mine right there. So I've gotten some significant use out of it. It is a very pretty to use as a highlighter. It's, it's pretty as an eyeshadow too, but you can find this as an eyeshadow everywhere. Yeah, and do you not see this? Like, this is horrible. Like, you guys, I would not recommend doing these styrofoam things in your drawers. Just, they're messy, they're gross. Eventually, I'm gonna switch it out. I watched some YouTube videos and seeing these do it, seeing people doing these, and I was like, oh, that's great, you know, I'm gonna try it, and it's a big fat mess, that's what it is. So, I do not recommend. This is the 
City Color Glow Duo. The one's powder, one's cream. This is a decent one. It's not my favorite. I'm pretty sure I got this like in an Epsy. This is the Temp 2 by BoxyCharm Liquid Glow. I do actually like this. I do. I just don't use it a lot because I'm not a huge, huge cream product person, which I definitely do need to play with them a lot more. This is the Ciate London Glow Down Highlighter. Where's the color at? In the color Moon Dust. And that is the highlighter right there. It needs to go in a Z palette at some point in time when I, I don't know, when I get one, I guess. So I do have two Becca highlighters and this one right here, this is the Becca Opal and that is it right there. And then I have Becca Champagne Pop and that is the Champagne Pop. These are both like travel size ones and I honestly love these little ones you guys. They are so convenient because highlighters take so long to use up that having these little highlighters are totally worth it. This is the NYX Born to Glow highlighter. This is in the color Stand Your Ground. And that is the highlighter right there. Almost done. All right, so this is the Urban Decay 8 Hour After Glow 8 Hour Powder Highlight in the color Sin. That's what it's called. I have used this multiple times, but this is another one that I need to actually put in a Z palette. I just haven't, but that is it right there. And I really do like this one as well. All right, so this next one here, this is the Benefit What's Up highlighter. This is the cream part of, this is the cream one right there. Then I also do have the Benefit High Beam. This is like the liquid cream. Then I have this Ulta Beauty liquid illuminator in the color Northern Lights. Then this one right here is Beauty Butanique. All right, so this one right here, this is from Butanique Beauty. This is a glow serum. This little sample that we got from Ipsy. All right, so this one right here is the Tartus Pro Glow in the color Stunner. I think we got this in a boxy charm. This is the Peter Thomas Roth 24 Karat Gold Pure Luxury Lift in Cream Prism Cream. I have not used this very much. This one right here, this is from Trust Fund Beauty. This is that liquid glow though. This one was okay, I remember it, I just, I don't think I loved it. And last but not least, this is the Beauty Crop Glow Milk. And that is it right there, it's so weird. You guys, this comes out like a nail polish. You see that? I don't know if you guys can see that. There you go, yeah. See, like it has like a nail polish brush on it, yeah. So anyways, that is it. That's it for my highlighter collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, I would love to have you. And next up is my blushes and that is it. So have a good day.